I'm a dude that uh, is a dude and I got hair, I got a dick, I got uh, a mouth that I'm speaking through you right now. You look very cool. Um, can I use the toilet? Kaijus, what's up? It's your boy Kaiju Kong, aka 2K. Alright, so before I go any further, welcome to the lair of the Kaiju. And um, make yourselves feel comfortable. And before we get into the topic, I do recommend grabbing like a little snack, a drink, something to chill. We're gonna be going back and forth, at least you in your mind and your own thoughts, and me in my little monologue talking to a little black camera lens. Sometimes I feel like I'm stupid doing this, but hey, if it helps you guys, it helps you guys. Anyway, today's topic is about small talk, and it came from an Instagram DM that I got this morning from a girl. Apparently, Sigma females are still on the loose, and she basically asked me, what are my thoughts on small talk? Is it something that Sigmas don't necessarily like doing? And if so, is it all bad? Are there good things to small talk? And if so, like, and if it is bad, how do we overcome it? Or how can we, you know, use small talk to our advantage? So let's start off there. Small talk. I guess you guys already have an idea of what small talk is in your head. Small talk, basically, as you can see, small, petty. It's something that uh, seems unimportant. It's like the first thing that comes to mind is a uh, when you pass by in the street, you meet a friend and they're like, Hey, hey, how are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're like, the funny thing is that's the protocol. I've never heard it in my life. Like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm bad. I know, like I had a colleague a long time ago who I found like pretty unique because whenever someone says, Hey, how are you? He said, Oh, well, I'm bad, but thanks for asking. And I'm like, man, that guy's like true Sigma soul, you know, that like true, um, unhindered, you know, realist. Because most of the time people just say, I'm good, even if their life is in complete shatters and tatters and all that. So that's funny. And aside from that, just like the, the beginning, like the beginning of the conversation, sometimes, like even at work, I never necessarily liked it because everyone would commune together in a group and start gossiping or saying stuff about the weather, about the politics, about this, this and that. You know, they always say, there's this quote that goes around, it's almost cliche by now, but small minds discuss people, average minds discuss events, whereas the great minds discuss ideas. And I think we are the ones who talk about the last one. We talk mostly about ideas. And even if we don't talk, usually what's in our brain, why we're so silent at times, is because we're thinking up new ideas. Like, for example, just a while ago, I was with a couple of buddies and we were um, organizing the new uh, space where we're going to be working. And the two buddies will, I work w one with an alpha and the other one I wouldn't, I don't necessarily like classifications, but classifications are good because it lets you really understand. And when you go around in society, you'll really see that true alphas do share common traits and betas do share common traits and sigmas do share common traits. So for the ease of understanding, instead of labeling everyone their own specific thing, you just kind of simplify them. And because they do have those general classification and um, general characteristics, you can approach them in a way that kind of helps you in favor. Because sometimes like, you know, alphas, they're very, sometimes they can be narcissistic, they can be egotistical, they like to be in charge. So if you kind of play to their desires, so to speak, and not like, and show that you are on their side and you're giving them ideas that will help the cause, that will help the organization, but in a way that, you know, you tell them like either directly or indirectly, like, don't worry, man, I got your back. This is a good idea that I think will help us, will help you look good. And you just give it to him. Because us Sigmas, we don't necessarily like the limelight. We don't necessarily like being praised. Sometimes I look like a fool. Everyone's like, oh, congratulations. Feels good. But I don't like being put on the spot like that. So there's that. So I was working with these alpha and the beta or whatever. Anyway, I was working with the dude, the dudes. And for me... I was doing my stuff, but I was like really, really quiet. And sometimes the, the, the alpha guy 
would say, oh, and tell me, oh, like, hey, man, is everything okay? You're kind of quiet. I'm like, of course, like, everything is good. I'm just, like, really concentrated and focused. I, like, I focus on the task, and for me, I told him it's Zen mode. Because when we do something mechanic, like painting or carpentry or something artistic that you repeat over and over again, you kind of tend to go into your own thoughts. It's like a little bit of a meditation. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. And so that's what happened. For me, I'm thinking about the next video that I'm going to be making for you guys. I'm thinking about what else I can do with my life. I'm thinking what type of workouts I can create for myself that will push me to the next level. I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing next week. And so the thing is, like, he thinks, like, I'm super quiet because the other dude who is also working with us, well, almost every, like, one minute, two minutes, he comes up with, oh, my father-in-law is doing this. Oh, I'm going to be doing that. Oh, I'm going to be doing this. Oh, I'm going to be doing that. And sometimes I notice, like, whenever the alpha guy says something, the other dude will chime in and kind of say the same thing, like, repeat the same thing in, like, confirmation. Like, the other one says, oh, the Wi-Fi signal is not working. The other guy will just say, Oh, the Wi-Fi signal's not working? Oh, that sucks. Oh, what can we do? And in my head, well, I don't necessarily need to say anything because one, I already know. I know from what the dude said that the Wi-Fi signal's not working. And two, if I don't know what to do myself, I'm not going to really chime in. All I'm just going to do is like look at him and just like say, oh, okay, cool. Or not <laughs> okay, cool, but can I help or something? you know, but not like chime in and be the parrot. If I, if I guess you guys are the same, if you know what to do, you kind of take action, you know, as I posted on my post a few days ago, talk doesn't cook rice. It's a Chinese proverb. Talk doesn't cook rice. Action does. Patience does. Pressure cooks rice. So, you know, you don't talk and then the rice cooks itself. The same as this. So like in terms of problems or anything, but like, Every single, like, every one minute, two minute, the dudes will basically say something and then they would get into a little conversation. And me, I'm just, like, in my head the whole time. Of course, the advantages are that um, here we are talking about Sigma males are mysterious and all that. That's how you stay mysterious because people are always wondering, what the hell is going on in your head? The dude, the alpha, thought that I was pissed at something. I'm like, man, I'm not pissed, don't worry. Give them the message directly or indirectly that you're not pissed man because they don't have to worry about at least they don't have to worry that you're pissed that's it but aside from that because like if they think that you're pissed all the time that's not necessarily a good thing you don't become mysterious you become kind of aloof not aloof but you kind of become standoffish and people don't necessarily like talking to you not because they think you're mysterious but they just think that you're weird and you're either grumpy or you're you're um, planning the vengeance of burning the whole organization down. Maybe some of you are, but, you know, for most of us, we're just there, we do our own thing, we're in our heads all the time, and it's a natural um, tendency of the introvert. So we kind of might as well work with it, right? And also, one disadvantage of this, and I've seen this countless times throughout my life, is that, you know, a lot of people are extroverted and in most industries most jobs you'll find that a lot of extroverted people are there aside from let's say coding or maybe the stem fields i never work there myself if any of you guys work there just let me know how your colleagues are if they're mostly on the introverted side or the extroverted side but in the industries that i've worked in so far in school and high school you'll technically experience mostly majority of the people there are extroverts Probably because the extroverts are so loud that you tend to notice them more, and because you notice them more, you think you'd kind of generalize that there are more extroverts than the introverts, because the introverts tend to either hide away or those who do not are not confident in themselves as introverts will kind of try to pretend they're extroverted. So then us as introverts, who are self-aware and are proud and are confident of being an introvert, when we see those people who are pretending to be extroverts, we count them as extroverts as well, not knowing that they actually are introverts. So sometimes there is this basis there where we kind of believe that there are more extroverts than none. So in any case, as I was saying, extroverted people, they like to connect. Humans, we are all built on connection, but extroverts, well, they like to connect a lot. And sometimes they need input from other people to get ideas. 
They like the input from other people to feel good, to feel validated, to feel like a sense of belonging. There's this sense of belonging, you know. And for me, the only thing that I wanted when I worked in, in a career was one, that the work was meaningful, two, that I get to do what I want to do. And of course, I'm not going to burn the whole organization down or do something shitty. You know, as Sigmas, we are, are men of purpose. We are high quality, especially those who work in a profession, who work in the industry. You know, the reason why we are like the one man army is because of that. We're able to do so much things like a very broad um, knowledge base and skill base that we're able to virtually do so many things in, in, in one go. So the hierarchy likes us, but we don't necessarily fit in to the hierarchy because of that thing. We don't necessarily like to, you know, go together with so many people at the same time. We make small talk, yes, every now and again, but if it's small talk every single time, like during break times, which is why a lot of my videos a long time ago, when I motivated you guys back a year ago, those motivation videos you're looking at me, I was actually at my workplace. I made those videos during my break time, during the dinner time. I ate fast and then I went. Everyone else, they would be at the cafeteria, they would kind of talk to each other, they would um, uh, look on social media, they would, uh, I don't know, swipe left and right on Tinder, do extroverted stuff, uh, dealing with people. But then me, like, I don't necessarily like making small talk and I don't like knowing um, what uh, Sally over there is doing for the weekend because what does that have to do with me, right? And even if, like, all of the people, that's the thing, you know, as a Sigmas, we have so many things going on in our lives, especially if you're the ambitious type, that you got so many things going on in your mind, the, the, the least thing, the thing that you want least is more things clogging up the memory space. So, knowing that Sally has uh, a barbecue during the weekend, knowing that Bob has to take his kid to school, but the kid was sick, and so he had to put him at his mother's place, and then knowing that David uh, uh, fell down, and of course, there are things that uh, you need to care about and t need to keep mind of. But then sometimes, it's like all the people's stories, you tend to... Because you get into your grind, because you have purpose in your life, you tend to immediately forget it. And what happens with me sometimes is that when I speak to someone else and then I said, they mentioned something in passing, the next time I meet them, I ask them, oh, how's your, uh, you have a son? And then she said, yeah, I have a son. I told you, like, my son was, I'm like, oh yeah, shit, sorry. Like, because there's so many things that are happening in my life that I don't even remember. So sometimes I know myself that well to that self-awareness that I know that if I listen to everybody, I'm not going to remember anybody's um, story. Therefore, I'm staying only, f I'm, so what am I staying for? To look good, to look like I'm there for you. I'm sorry, sometimes if you're always there for some people, they kind of take advantage of you and you become like the crying shoulder or the BFF forever that they talk to. And I've been there for so many people in that sense, BFF forever so many times that, and I'm just like, it's just a one way street where they're giving me input and I'm not basically communicating with them. Not, there's no two way. It's just one way I'm hearing their problems, hearing their life. And I'm just like saying, uh-huh, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. And then giving them advice when I need to. But in most cases, most people's problems are not, you know, they're very petty, small talk. And uh, I've been there before, I've done that, I'm not going to do that again. So I don't necessarily need to look good. I know that myself, I'm happy with myself. I don't need other people to be happy with me, unless it really matters, right? So that's why I left. I ate na 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 pleasantries. Of course, I don't totally disappear. I'm there, I talk, na 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 And then I say like, guys, I got to do something. I'm going to have to call someone, na 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 Got to call my family. And they're like, okay, cool. Then I leave. Simple. As long as you make like a good excuse to leave, it's fine. Second, if you have a cool reason, this also plays into the Sigma, Sigma mystery that keeps everyone on their toes. And, uh, you know, for if you're dudes trying to get with a woman or a girl, sometimes like them knowing that you're not totally like the typical dudes that during break time, they're always there doing this, they're, doing, they're just, you know, doing what everyone else does. But you, you're like, kind of like Batman, you're there and then Bruce Wayne and then you disappear and then people are like, where, where the hell did Bruce Wayne go? What's he doing at the night? So yeah, so then I would disappear and then I'd make videos for you guys. You see, 
Small talk sometimes. When you make so much small talk, there is no time for action. There's, like right now, you see, I'm talking to you guys. So you can either do three things. You can either think, you can talk, or you can act. You can do three um, of them together with less efficiency. You can do two with a little bit less efficiency, or you can do one with full efficiency and effectiveness. So, you, you, it's better to act once you've already thought of what you wanted to do. And, you, of course, you don't make decisions based on not thinking, right? So, first you gotta think. So, put all the energy into thinking. Focus on that. It's like a laser. Light like this is light. But light that's you point it down as a laser, that thing, that shit can burn stuff. That shit can kill. So, focus your attention on one of the three things. I recommend thinking. Think what you want to do with your life or think what you want to do today or tomorrow. Na, 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 na. And then after that, you focus then on acting. Like I'm doing now. While I was working, they were wondering why I'm super, super quiet and everything. And of course, I shoved it off. I'm there. It's not like you're always like in your head all the time. You got to participate in the matrix. You got to participate in the um, with people. You know, you don't... This is the thing. When I was younger, I tried both extremes. One, when I didn't understand myself, I was like the super... Um, Yes, and I would always be there for people, and I was always thinking, you know, this introverted thing sucks, everyone looks extroverted, I should join in, I should be with a cool crowd, I should communicate with people, go into parties. But then, that's the reason why I kind of went away and left the cool crowd. Because like almost every single weekend, those dudes would be out partying, or they would go to the arcade, because I was back in like grade school. They'd go out to the arcade, they'd go out to watch a movie, one, I was not, my family was not that rich back then. And I didn't want to put so much pressure on my family because I had the integrity and I had the, the, um, the you know, the filial piety. I knew what my parents were going through, so I didn't want to do anything. Like, you know, I didn't want to put them through much more stress. Second, like, you go there to the arcade, yeah, good time. Go there to the movie, yeah, good time. But then I had also other things to do. I was an athlete. So sometimes... They say, like, you gotta fill the void with something. If you don't go out, what you gonna do? What you gonna tell your friends? So sometimes, like, you have to fill the void, to fill the, like, you're not going out because you're doing something, and that something should be good. Like, back then, that's why I got into sports. I was varsity in swimming and taekwondo at the same time. If I was not doing swimming, the next day I was doing taekwondo, and then, like, kind of vice versa, vice versa. Sometimes I'd train twice a day. So when you have something to do, it's much more, it's much easier to kind of like um, not go for those outings or not go for the typical, you know, let's go party or let's go to the arcade, let's go to the movies, let's go out or something like that. And in a way, you kind of look cool because and you look cool and you look responsible. You're not like the typical like, oh, what are you going to do? You're going to stay home in your mama's house. That's it. Play video games, scratch your balls. So there's that, my friends. <laughs> You know, instead of saying like, oh, um, like they say, oh, you want to go out? No, nah, no. Nah, well, what are you going to do at home? Well, come on, man. What are you going to do at home? Like, oh, what? You're going to scratch your balls? Hey, oh, I'm going to play video games. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's that's all you're going to do. But then you're like, nah, guys, I got to like, you know, I got to train. We got a competition coming up or not even that. No, guys, I'm going to go out to the, um, I'm going to go hike up the mountain. Even that is kind of lame sometimes for some people. You know, it's sad that uh, going for a hike nowadays or doing stuff in nature is kind of lame to the average person because they cannot really understand why anyone would go out and do... Or you can just say you went out hunting or something like that. You know, something cool. So the thing is, I've been there before and I know. So maybe, maybe some of you or many of you or maybe all of you are kind of like this. You prefer to think before you speak. And sometimes when you're caught off guard, like sometimes like my brain can go like a hundred and something miles an hour. But then suddenly someone asks me, what are your, tell me, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And all of a sudden I'm like, what is your favorite movie? Like my brain kind of goes like, so it's a weakness of mine, but 
and many for probably for many of you like when someone catches you like you catch you off guard like puts you in in the spot you're like kind of like oh shit you know what do i say it's why which is why i hated job interviews before i thought it was like eh, job interviews it was super easy i'm self-aware i know myself i know my strengths and my weaknesses i know what i can do what i can't do i know what i like what i don't like and all of a sudden when they're there and they tell me tell me about yourself and i'm like well you see here i'm uh, i'm a dude that uh is a dude and i got hair i got a dick i got uh, a mouth that i'm speaking through you right now you look very cool um can i use the toilet so i mean like there, there are things like that you know and uh the best thing that i've learned to do over the years is that whenever you go through social situations and i do this all the time sometimes there are things that i don't necessarily know how to respond to and i responded in a certain like the first thing that i thought of i responded but sometimes i don't like how i respond so like the next five minute five ten minutes i might be like ruminating over what just happened in my head and then coming up with what i could have said so sometimes you guys have to develop a, resp- a response way in advance before it even happens so when people ask you something even if they catch you off guard you kind of already have an easy response to be made. So like when people say, hey, let's go out, no, 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 you already have a response to make. And that sounds cool. That sounds like you're responsible. And that is feasible for you not to go out in the first place. Simple. Make your responses in advance. I know it's not easy. And um, also for those of you guys who, it's a tip, a pro tip from me. When you go through social interactions and you don't necessarily like the way that you responded in certain specific situations, keep a notebook or at least like i have my phone which is recording but i have this other one that i use to answer like uh, comments and stuff like that because this one is huawei and huawei ever since the google banned it well this one is good for nothing except for recording videos (laughs) so um i recommend getting evernote evernote for your phone and as soon as you get you just put whatever notes you want it can sync through all devices helps me a lot helps me go through like my workout plans and if i have like a social situation that i think could be improved simple i just go to evernote type in what just happened and how i think is best to respond to that type of situation and then i created like this folder where i put like whatever you can name it something you can name it badass 101 and then you put all those tips that you gave yourself put that in that folder and then from then on, sometimes when you don't have anything to do, you just go through the social interactions. Because sometimes you, many times I did that, I just put it in my mind, you tend to forget. And then when the opportunity comes again, you're like, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. you don't know exactly what to say. So that's that, my friends. Um, let me think. Come, let me think a bit. Small talk is a necessary evil. Especially for us. Maybe for others, it's like not even called a necessary evil. It's like a must-have or it's like a pleasure. Like a fine wine that you share with other people and you dine at a table and you enjoy each other's company. Well, for me, I enjoy my own company. And I think it's the same. It's no different from you guys. I can probably achieve a lot more just by myself than with other people because, you know, as I said, you can focus your energy in three ways talk thought or action and i'd prefer to do it in action but as i said it's a necessary evil sometimes to get friendships that are valuable sometimes to perform well at a job that you have to do because you are you know you got to provide a living for yourself somehow not everyone can be freelancers right or not everyone is cut out to be a freelancer because this is the thing a part of being self-aware is knowing who you are and um, of course they always say Sigma males they prefer to be uh, freelancers or entrepreneurs or the head of their own company but either way to earn money you got to be getting it from somewhere right who are you getting it from from God from the floor from the bird from Abu no you're getting it from other people so you got to convince them somehow to give you that money. You cannot convince just by using your Professor Xavier's mind power. You got to talk, my friends. And uh, depending on who you're talking to, they're going to probably want to do small talk. 
so might as well get good at it if not good at it at least comfortable doing it so there are many ways to do this um as i said there you can prepare way in advance and that's the thing like a lot of us sigmas we overthink and uh, if you're like me you're a perfectionist so sometimes when you talk or when you offer advice to someone you think over and over and over and over and over in your head and then eventually you're like you know you start shooting down your own ideas until the moment where you don't even have an idea because it doesn't like nothing seems to make sense Whoops, sorry about that guys, I just realized that this entire time I was talking and looking in the camera, it was actually not recording. So yeah, congratulations on that, Kaiju Kong. But yeah, let me close this off already here. <clears throat> the aversion or the dislike of making small talk is a weakness. And let's call it, uh, let's call a spade a spade guys, because... I've lived life, and many of you younger dudes, maybe you'd think otherwise, but the dislike for making small talk is actually a weakness, yes. But, I mean, taking it like that per se, but it does come with its benefits. So, one, you can learn how to at least be comfortable making small talk, or try to camouflage your way in that sense, to not make yourself look kind of out of place, so to speak. But you can also mitigate the awkwardness or mitigate your discomfort by doing cool things with your life. So that one, if there is a way to kind of disappear from having to make small talk, you can do that. If people say, oh, let's go to this party, let's go to this, this, that, this, that, and the other. You can say, oh, I'm going to do other things and oh, I got plans for the weekend, like this, like this, like that. And uh, two, you can use it to your advantage because, well, instead of making small talk, you can think of ideas and you can act on them appropriately instead of mumbo-jumboing your energy and being less efficient in the action that really counts, right? And as I said, if you do engage in small talk, try at least to engage in some that matter. So, like I said before, small minds discuss people, Average minds discuss ideas. Ah, average minds discuss events. And the great minds discuss ideas. So when you look at majority of people and what they talk about, it's very clear to see where most of people's minds lie. And of course, you and I are no different. There are times when you talk about people. There are times when you talk about events. But it's the ratio of which type of conversation you make that kind of determines what type of mind you have. And sometimes when you go, when you talk about it, not even the conversations you have with other people, but the conversations you have in your head. Sometimes if you're talking about, oh, you know, that person, I hate that person. Nah, 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 nah. You're talking to yourself in your head and it's mostly coming up with thoughts, talk about other people. Therefore, you're still a small minded person. If you are that, don't worry. Life is long. You have life and life is always in flux. You can always evolve. You can always go to the next level. You're not stagnant and you're staying in the same place. But if you are stagnant, you're kind of like stagnant water. What happens in stagnant water? Mosquitoes grow. You don't want to be a place where mosquitoes grow. So, try to always be in flow, as Bruce Lee says. Be like water, my friend. So, level up your mind to be the average type of person. First, talk about events. Know what's happening in the world. You think about what's going on, how it affects you, and stuff like that. And then afterwards, talk. then talk to yourself about ideas. Think up new things. Be creative. Be daring. Have the balls to be ambitious and dream up your biggest dreams. And, or even you use events. And then even how you use events and how it applies to you. And then how you're going to respond to that. That's already thinking up ideas. And in this conversation in your own head you are proving yourself to be a great mind. So let me end there, my friends. This is a little bit of a talk and a little bit of a monologue with Kaiju Kong about small talk, its benefits, disadvantages, and what you can do about it. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is the place where we are becoming more than who we are, you know. Sigma Male, I thought, was the, the dream, the ideal, but apparently not. When I really was realistic with myself, there are some shortcomings that we can improve and we can actually improve. And that's really exciting. And um, aside from that, 
Don't forget to like if you had a laugh, if this gave you some insight, if this gave you valuable information. Share it with a friend who you think this will help as well. That will help also my YouTube channel. So you're doing me a solid. And uh, comment your thoughts down below if you agreed, if you want to add some new points, how your experiences were, any tips that you have for the fellow brothers and uh, sisters out there. I feel like I'm giving a mass, man. And uh, yeah, this is Kaiju Kong signing off. This is a pleasure, my friends. Until next time, stay strong.